Hey, this is Black Bear Hunter coming at you again, and we're here to talk about Bell's Brewing or Bell's Brewery out of Comstock, Michigan. Uh, and the beer in question is the Expedition Stout. Um, this is the 2018 vintage. Um, it's a Russian Imperial, 10.5% ABV. Um, a really long-standing stout out of uh, out of Bell's Brewery. So, um, you pretty much can call this an OG when it comes to uh, Russian Imperials out of the U.S. Um, I mean, if you know anything about this beer, um, it's extremely complex. Um, brewed with agent in mind, I mean, just like if you know anything about Russian Imperials, um, they were designed to go from um, England out to the Tsar in Russia. And there was no refrigeration during that time, so it actually endured the trip. And when it came out of that barrel, it was even better than when they brewed it. So that was something that the, the czar basically ordered over and over and over because he was in love with it. Um, so you get tons of malt in this beer. Um, you, you get chocolate, dark fruit. Um, and like I said, as it age, it gets more complex and deep in the aging process. So uh, with that being said, the best way to find out exactly what's going on with this stout is to break the bottle, to break the open, pull out the opener and crack that cap. So, yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, tons of chocolate. I mean, you, you know, with a Russian Imperial, you're going to get a little, it's going to be a little bitter um, on the back end. Um, some of them are a little bit more bitter than others. Some people like that. I'm not in particularly um, into the bitter, the extremely bitter um, Imperial Stouts. Um, nice cat. That definitely go on my table. So, drop that in my collection and so yeah like I say you know you get a little bit of bitterness um, that's expected but at the end of the day oh, it's a great delivery but as you can see um, extremely dark extremely dark really midnight black um, look at the lacing on that me oh man so you get good lacing uh, khaki tan head um, Let's see aroma wise oh. oh yeah like a ton like a ton of chocolate you get some vanilla you could probably smell the dark fruit a bit like right at the back end like after you smell the chocolate oh yeah I mean it smells delicious I mean the head receded pretty quick but you can still see that it gets really good lacing. Um, I mean, that's definitely going to, the mouthfeel should be amazing on this. Um, it's better, it's, it's uh, more than medium. It's a really thick, um, well, the ones that I've had in the past, they were pretty thick. Um, you know, coat your tongue really well, leave behind like a really great residue of chocolate and malts and dark berry especially as it warms it gets even more complex as it warms and it seemed like the bitterness goes away a bit while it warms up so with that being said again um let's uh let's take a couple pulls Ooh. wow just the right amount of bitter, but a ton of chocolate, ton of malts, that dark berry or whatever fruit that is that's in it. Um, nice body and feel. It's like an extremely medium body. Oh man, um, nice and creamy. Um, man, it's got that bitter to it at the end. Or in the middle, like, it's, it's got that Russian Imperial characteristic where it's bitter. 
but it's, it's, it's sweet at the same time. The sweetness never goes away. So it's just, just right. Like, and I mean, I just couldn't imagine how this is going to taste when it ages. Like I have a few that are aged, like, oh gosh, when I finally decide to age it, I, it might've been about 2014 that I aged. So it's not really like, it's, it's going to be really good at that point. Like right now, if I crack the 2014, that would be awesome. And I might do that just because I started filming, um, you know, film reviews and, and, and I just want to get that dialogue going when it comes to beer. Um, but I'm telling you, like, even there's like a little smoke, like right on the front end, when you, when you open it up, there's that little smoky flavor right in the beginning, which is, oh, so good. This is a delicious stout. I like the barrel age, but it's funny how the regular base stout, the base stout, I mean, it meets the barrel age. And I'm not going to say it surpasses it, but you're going to want both. If you have the barrel age, at some point you're going to like, yo, I should just crack a barrel age. When you have this stout, you can totally just skip the barrel age and say, yo, I just want a regular expedition stout. Um, with that being like, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just a delicious, delicious, delicious beer. So, I mean, in untapped, they gave it a 4.26, um, which is respectable. Um, but I mean, <sighs> the beer was a gold medal winner in 2011 with a 16 year vintage. Imagine that. Like. 16 year old beer coming up in the GABF and just blowing the doors off the class. Then this year they got a silver medal, but it was only a 2012 vintage. So now you, if you think about that, you can see exactly what I'm going for by holding out on drinking the ones that I have and continually just stockpiling these beers and sitting them, you know, in your little cellar and forgetting about them. Just forget about it. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, it, it's a fucking classic, you know, um, 4.26 is generous. I easily would give it a 4.50. If I had to do a one to 10 scale, it's going to be a nine out of 10, even not maybe even 9.25. I mean, for a Russian Imperial, this is what you want to shoot for with a Russian Imperial with, uh, if you're brewing Russian Imperials, or if you want to buy a Russian Imperial, um, this is classic. Um, so it's almost time for me to get back to my, uh, get back to TV watching. I'm about to, uh, you know, uh, have some dinner and watch a little game of Thrones. But what I'm going to do is watch, uh, YouTube and look for people to just start to conversate, hit me up with a note, say whatever, talk about whatever beer. Just tell me something that you want to see. Um, and like I said, we can we can make it we can make it happen. I, like I said, I just want to talk beer. Um, I love beer. You love beer. We all love beer. <laughs> so, yeah. So at the end of the day, hit me up. We'll talk. Cheers, YouTube.